The project came about actually when I saw an ad for the Community Initiated Micro Grants Program. And I had never applied for any grants before, but I thought that it might be an interesting project to try and find something in the neighborhood. And this was the first place that came to mind um, because I use this entrance all the time. And it's previously was a little bit of a, you know, a little bit dark and scary and um, had never really been decorated or had any art or anything like that. So that was my first choice. And I was what I was really interested in was creating an artwork that would speak to the indigenous history of Nose Hill. And all the money went to local artists and local businesses that supplied us the paint and everything else. And so it all stayed in the community and I think it just, it did a lot of good. My connection to Indigenous art is really special. I'm an Indigenous creator myself. I, uh, my background's Métis, um, French Cree. We're really uh, fortunate to work with our Blackfoot elders, Cindy Daniels and Rod Scout, who advised on the project and shared with us their knowledge. It's based on just a lot of the flowers and plants in the area on Nose Hill and how they relate to the Blackfoot culture. For example, there's sage, which is great for ceremony. Um, there's lots of tiger lilies, which is a flower that I've always been connected to as a child, but it's something that grows here naturally. Um, the community was involved in the project, um, I think in decision making what mural would be created, but then also they were so helpful in actually helping me paint the mural.